What's going on, y'all? So two of the top lower body movements I see people struggle with are probably the, the RDL and the lunge with the squat being a close third. So today we're going to talk about the RDL. Um, I get a lot of people in my class from different gyms, and this, these are the top two that I see they need help with the most. So for an RDL, a lot of cues I see out there is we're going mid shin and back up. And I don't love that cue because we're all different. Everybody has different anatomy. Um, somebody's hamstrings might be super tight. So for me, my cues are shoulder blades together, nice and tight, brace the core, unlock the knees. I like to imagine there's a wall behind me and I'm sending my hips back, trying to touch the wall with my butt. And then I'm coming back forward, drive my hips forward to stand up. We're not lifting from the back like a deadlift. So we're driving the hips forward to stand up driving the hips back to lower the weight. So it looks like this, we're gonna grab the weight, hands outside the hips, and then for the feet, I like to be hip to shoulder width apart, and you can kind of play around with that to see what feels best. So we got back, upper back's tight, core's braced, knees unlocked. We're gonna send the hips back, boom, that's it. So any further than this, it's all low back, right? So just as far as those hips go, and you stop, come back up. Boom. All right, and if you have mastered the hip hinge, RDLs look great, and you're not using straps of some sort like this, then uh, you're not going heavy enough.